like you ever felt. Are you listening? Hi guys, welcome to video number 9 for the Canon EOS 5D Mark II. And in this video we're going to have a look at the camera setup, or the spanner, gold menu, number 2. And um, first up is LCD brightness. We've mentioned this before. Um, that you can change the brightness level um, of the LCD. Okay, when it's set to manual, I leave mine in the middle. Um, or you can have it set to automatically adjust according to the brightness of the conditions that you are in. Um, uh, pointless feature because it messes up how you perceive your exposures to be on the back of the camera. Yes, you can check the histogram, but quick previews, it'll mess you up. Um, so I would leave it on manual, choose a brightness setting and leave it there. Now, if I can't see the back of the screen, say on a bright sunny day, um, I'll stick the camera under a cover under a hat, cap, or under my t-shirt to, to, so I can see the screen. Um, so that's fine there. Now, um, date and time is fairly obvious. We can set the date and time. Okay, so we'll go back out of that. We can change the language as well and pick from a lot of different languages, some of which I have zero idea what they are. Okay. Um, you can change the video system as well um, from NTSC, so for the United States and other parts of the world, Europe would be PAL. Um, okay, the frame rates that you get in these will be uh, a little bit limited in terms of the choices that are there compared to later DSLRs like the 5D3, 60D, 70D. Um, it's a 1080p camera and that's it. And you either get 25 frames a second or 30, 30 being on NTSC, 25 or 24 point whatever it is. Um, on PAL. Um, but that said, it's not a limited video camera really, given what um, it's been used to do in films and TV, um, but uh, it's not got the frame rate and resolution options of the later models. So, center cleaning. Auto cleaning enabled. Um, that will automatically shake dust off the sensor when you turn the camera on or off. Works-ish, kind of, sort of, but it will need manually cleaning eventually anyway. Um, I clean my own sensors, I've got the kit to do it. You can take it to a shop, pay £40-£50 to have someone professionally do it. Um, no thank you, um, I'd rather do it myself and save some money. Uh, we can tell the camera to clean now. And there it is. You can hear it there, shaking dust off, or trying to shake dust off. Or we can go into clean whoops, manually, and click. That's now the mirror up, leaving us access to the filter, not the sensor directly, but the filter. Um, so we can clean that if we wish uh, with cleaning products and solutions. Now to reset this, turn the camera off. And back on, Oop, there we go, sensor cleaning, you've just done that. And there we go. Now, a big part of this menu is the live view and movie function options. Like I say, it's limited on the choice of frame rates and the resolutions compared to other DSLRs, um, it's 1080p and that's it, um, but that's fine. Now, if we go down to the live view and movie function settings, you know, the live view button is here, okay, and we can start recording in movie mode in manual by pressing the set button at any point, okay. We'll go into there, we can tell the camera what live view functions we want active, so we can either have it stills and movies, so you can work stills plus movies if you wish, um, stills only, or have live view disabled, which I'm probably going to set because my nose sometimes catches that and turns it into live view when I'm shooting stills and I don't want it to go to live view. I rarely, if ever, use live view at all. So let's go back to stills and movie. If we go set next, okay, we can tell it to display the movie display info, exposure simulation, okay, or stills display information only so you can customize um, what is shown there for you. We will have a quick look uh, in more detail um, 
a quick look in more detail, that makes sense. We'll have a further look um, in more detail at the moving mode in a later video, so I won't delve into this too much just now. Okay, and uh, there we go. Now, grid display. Um, this is where we can change the overlay okay, of grid. We can either have the grid off, so it shows the rule of thirds. Um, we can have the small grid or the more complex grid um, that we can see there. And if we go and change it to the smaller one, oops, live view, grid, there. Okay, you've got the rule of third grid there. Um, or you can have it turned off if you wish, if you find it distracting, um, you know, to each their own. So we'll go back in. Now, silent mode. Yeah. Okay, you've got silent mode one for live for live view and um, movie shooting. Silent mode two, or completely disabled. I'll disable that. Um, there's very 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 little difference in the audibility um, loudness. Okay, it's, it's more quiet than general shooting stills. We, we all know that the 5D Mark II goes with the clack. Um, Okay, that's because that was in live view. Take that out of live view. Okay, it goes with a quite a clack normally. Um, so it is quieter than that. It kind of cushions um, the mirror movement or locks the mirror up in position so that's completely open all the time. Um, it may be useful for you when shooting wildlife, of course, and you're using live view or you're shooting landscape with wildlife elements in there and you don't want to disturb them with the big clack of the 5D shutter. Okay. So we'll go back into there. Um, metering timer. Now, this can either be set um, for 30 minutes, 10 minutes, 1 minute, 30 seconds, 16 or 4 seconds. So when you're shooting movies in auto, essentially, or one of the semi-auto modes where the camera does the exposure side for you, um, you can have it um, review the metering um, at certain time periods, have it set so it stays. Um, as is and changes less it will still shift exposure somewhat but you have a bit more control seriously if you're going to be shooting movies you're not going to be wanting shooting it in auto or auto anything you want to lock it down in manual and uh, for much more control so that's set to 30 whatever never use it um af mode now quick mode you've either got quick mode live live mode or live face detection the autofocus on the 5D sucks anyway, um, and it's really slow in live view because it's using uh, phase detection autofocus rather than just the contrast base that's normally using. Um, so it does take longer to focus in live view. Um, but have a look at those settings yourself, see which one you prefer. I don't shoot a whole lot of tripod based stuff, still live um, landscape stuff so I don't really bother with these settings myself but best thing to do would be to see what suits your kind of shooting um, and then you know run with that yourselves okay we have here movie recording size okay we have 1920 by 1080 30 24 frames okay bear in mind this is set to NTSC okay or 640 by 480 we don't get any 720p settings um, but you've got VGA 30 frames per second there, should you wish to. Okay, but we'll come back to the movie side of things later on. Now, um, sound recording. Within here, we can tell it now um, to do sound recording levels, um, either turn the sound off in the camera, um, set it to auto, so the camera deals with the gain or the audio level, or we can sell it, tell it to manually have whichever audio level that we wish. I've got something similar set on the 60D that's recording this video at the moment. Originally the 5D2 didn't have this feature on there, it was a firmware update as well as a few other fixes and um, so it's worth checking that your 5D Mark II has the latest firmware. Um, most of them I would imagine given the age of the camera probably will have, um, although I do know one that doesn't. <coughs> Kev. Okay, so that's the um, Setup menu number two, um, looking at the brightness of the LCD, date, time, language, video system, 
sensor cleaning and the live view and the movie function options there. Again, we will come back to the movies part of it in a little bit more detail um, at a later stage. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe with these videos if you find them helpful or you think they will help somebody else. And we will see you in the next video.